add the fractions 5 eighths plus 11 twelfths plus 7 fifteenths. Looking at our problem, we realize we do not have denominators that match. We're going to have to find a least common denominator. We do that by prime factoring each denominator separately. The 8 can be prime factored into 2 cubed. 12 can be prime factored into 2 squared times 3. 15 can be prime factored into 3 times 5. From these individual factorings, we can build an LCD, which is one of each different factor raised to its highest exponent. So we're going to choose the 2. Its highest exponent is 3. We also need a factor of 3, and we also need a factor of 5. Multiplying these three pieces together, we get 120. We now have our LCD. We are going to build equivalent fractions for each of our original. Our new denominator is now 120. We will multiply each original numerator by a factor that the old denominator was multiplied to come up with this new LCD. 8 was multiplied by 15. We will multiply our numerator 5 times 15 and get 75. Our old denominator 12 was multiplied by 10 to get 120. We'll multiply 11 by 10 for 110. 15 was multiplied by 8 to come up with 120. We'll multiply the 7 times 8 and get 56. We now have all three denominators matching. We're ready to, to add the numerator straight across. If we do this addition, we'll have 241 over 120. We could write that as a mixed numeral of 2 and 1, 120.